Welcome back, everybody, to box number four in our Shadows of the Galaxy case. And another cool playmat to show off here. This is a map of Middle Earth, which is not very thematic, but, you know, I thought it would be fun to do. So uh, the first three boxes have been kind of meh. So we got a Poe, which is probably the highlight here. But, um, you know, besides that, it's been... A little janky, uh, underperforming on some legendaries. We're gonna do it this this way this time. Um, so underperforming a little bit, but uh, let's see if we can make up. It's kind of nice buying a case because you know there's no like tampered boxes, but the the rumors of how these boxes have been mapped, it feels like a safer bet to get a whole case here. So let's get started with pack number one. This is a Boba Fett pack. Let's see if there's any goodness. So, Fennec, nothing. Make sure I get the right angle here. All right. And, oh, we got a hyperspace there. And our rare is going to be, ooh, Tobias Beckett. And then a foil foundling. So, I need to sort out all my commons and uncommons. I'm waiting until the very last minute to do that because it's like a two hour project, man. <laughs> so, all right, we have Gar Saxon. All right, Reckless Gunslinger. This, I might save a few packs just to draft because this game is actually really fun to draft. Top Target, this is a cool card. Bo Katan, let the Wookiee win. And then a Principled Outlaw. So I don't think we had a hyperspace in that one, but I suppose they're not in every pack. All right. I think I'm hopefully gonna get a play set of stuff out of this minus legendaries and just try to, I don't know what to do with the rest of this stuff. All right, Al Skirmisher, Pike, Clan Child, Wookie Warrior, Surprise Strike, Mandalorian Warrior. Okay, we have some good pieces here. And our rare is Ruthlessness. And then we have a foil rare, Kragon Gore. So, I'm kind of just picking up random packs. I think someone in the comments said that you can look, there's a way people have mapped it out where it's like the first pack on the right or something. So, I, I don't know. I, I like <laughs> the thrill of the hunt here. Uh, we should be getting four legendaries per box. We were underperforming here for a while. <coughs> That's a cool one. And then our rare is Bazine Natal, and then a Warzone Lieutenant. So not bad, um, not bad, uh, what's it called, hyperspace, but foils have been kind of lacking, and um, nothing really spectacular for rares, at least for not what I'm possibly looking to build. Oh, bo -Katan. Um, she's not that good, I don't think. Um, maybe there'll be cards to come out that'll make her a little bit better. Ooh, Frozen and Carbonite, Privateer Crew, uh, L337, and then a Wild Rancor, and then an Outflank. Wild Rancor, and then this is a cool hyperspace. All right. On to the next pack here. Still no legendaries. I think we're four or five packs in. Nice hyperspace location here. Oh, I can see the foil peeking out the back here. And our rare is going to be Enterprising Lackeys. And then we have a foil desperate attack. Um, kind of meh. There's a, there's a lot of rares, I think I said this before, but there's a lot of rares that just end up being like a quarter or a dollar if people are lucky. There's a lot more of this product. Oh, nice hyperspace rare, uh, hyperspace ray rather, not hyperspace rare. Great price in your head, Rivals Fall. This is a cool card. I got that in hyperspace foil. Another hyperspace and our rare is Sugi, Hired Guardian, and then a Kirizi Heavy Fighter. Forgive my pronunciation here. It is a, a made-up language. <laughs> so. All right. Still no legendaries. Um, and 
Okay, hyperspace there, Adolfi Patrol. All right. Rose Tico, Crippling Authority, and our rare is... Ooh, okay. Okay, we don't hate that. And then a Foil Rickety Jumper. So we have our first Legendary in Crate Dragon. This is probably the coolest card in the set, in my opinion. So Overwhelm, when an opponent plays a card, you may deal damage equal to that card's cost to their base or ground you the control. So... Uh, this can be kind of a game ender. So pretty cool, but obviously when he costs nine, pretty hard to get out. So I think he might be the most expensive legendary. Um, once again, I got these for around 90 to $95 a box. I can't remember exactly after tax, but um, that, that's about a $30 card maybe. So not, not bad value there. Um, Hut Henchman. This stuff is pretty widely available now on TCG Player and stuff. So, ooh, I see something cool in the back there. Hyperspace, cool. An Elephantman, Elephantman, rather. Um, I've always thought this was a super cool character. And then a Hyperspace Clan um, Ren Rescuer. So, not bad to get a Hyperspace Foil. Would have rather had a rare one or, but it's cool regardless. So, Ray, all right, let's see, Guild Target, Millennium Falcon, and Force Loyalty, and Altering the Deal, and our foil is Sonara San. Sonara San. All right, um, well, the Crate Dragon was great, but we're still running behind here on Legendaries, so... Oh, nice! A hyperspace Boba Fett. This is a uh, this is the big money showcase that everyone's after. Obviously, that's not the showcase, but um, follower of the way, liberated slaves, and our rare is going to be Chewbacca. I didn't even know there was a Chewbacca in this set, to be honest. And then a foil, no bargain. Um, so a nice big. 410 body with grit. Kind of kind of interesting. You're building something with blue. So maybe we'll see some play here. Um, I guess I didn't realize how big this set was. I thought it was like 200 and some cards, but it, so it feels like I'm not really getting a lot of duplicates of stuff. Like duplicates of rares, that is. Um, ooh, hyperspace for or hyperspace rather. And our Vibrant's Flamethrower, and then, ooh, a Legendary Finalizer Foil. Okay. Vibrant's Flamethrower, let's spend a second on Finalizer. So this is a funny pack where it's just like, I've got a funny box, I've gotten like only big dogs. So he's an 11-11 Overwhelm when played, choose any number of friendly units, each of those units captures an enemy unit in the same arena. This is kind of almost a game ender, <laughs> but um, I mean, if you got to 11, then you're probably about to win. Um, okay, so we're two legendaries and uh, two of the more interesting legendaries. I think Finalizer is pretty interesting. Rare leader here. Deathmark. Found to your traitor. All right, and our rare is going to be Boba Fett's armor. This is actually a pretty good, um, and then, ooh, a rare foil. Uh, this is like actually a pretty decent card. So attach to a non-vehicle, if attached to Boba Fett, and the damage event, don't do that damage. So not bad, not bad at all. Okay. The piles, if you to zoom out here, there's just piles of commons and uncommons around me. And they're precariously stacked. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to knock them over. And then you'll hear some explicit explicit of language off camera here. All right. Pirate Battle Tank. Slaver of Wookiee. Cassian Andor. Forlom. The Chaos of War. I've actually never seen this card before. Reckless Gunslinger. Chaos of War. Da deal damage to each player's base. Equal to that number. Okay, this is kind of interesting. If they have a big hand, you could deal some, some damage. Um, it's kind of an interesting mechanic there. All right. 
I, the one thing I'll say is they added some new keywords in or like new card types that I feel like are unnecessary. Like this being a plan and not an event feels like, why did we need to have plans and events, you know? Um, well, I guess it's an, it is an event, but it's a plan and a gambit. Like, I don't know, the, these extra keywords I feel like don't add a lot. You could have just had a, a little cleaner of game text, but maybe it adds in stuff later. And then our rare is going to be Cobb Vanth. So this is what, Timothy Oliphant? This is actually a decent looking card. So I'd, I'd give this like a, uh, I don't know, eight out of 10. And then we have a foil Ketsu Onyo. All right, we have about eight packs left. Let's hope we get two more legendary here. Um, Cause I think really the finalizer came in a foil slot. So in theory, we should have better luck in our rare slot. My cat is going bonkers here. So don't mind her scurrying. Val, loyal to the end. And then a uh, foil look the other way. I don't think I've seen this card yet. Huh. This just goes to show, I don't think I'm gonna get a play set out of a case, but probably get a common, uncommon play set, but, you know, plus some. Um, that just also requires like five hours of sorting to get there. <laughs> All right, and we have our rare is, ooh, a nice hyperspace Wookiee guy. And then Endless Legions, another, this is almost like thematically, like the, the legendaries have been only big bodies. So, and then we have a foil Adolfi Patrol Wing, cool card. Um, Endless Legions, reveal any number of resources you control, play each unit revealed this way for free. So if you can get to 14, good luck, uh, but, this is a super cool card. Um, art is like a nine out of 10, I think. So pretty pretty happy with that. And we have six packs left. So let's, let's see what we can get done here. Ooh, nice hyperspace fin. Start stuff off and then randomly the rest of the pack, maybe I just turned it upside down myself. Desperate attack. Village Protectors. We can see the foil peeking out back there. Sorry to ruin it, guys. Dr. Evazan. Ev and then a new adventure. Um, he's actually pretty cool. I, I like this sort of use of bounty where you're, you know, making him a little, you know, strategic of when to kill. I think that's a well-designed card. So I like him. All right. Let's see. We have... Yeah, this is six packs left. All right, follow of the way, Death Watch Loyalist. Ooh, something good in the back. Fennec, Survivor's Gauntlet, and a Hyperspace Warzone Lieutenant. This looks awesome. Um, this is, yeah, that's top notch. Only two Hyperspace foils so far, so I think we've been averaging a bit more than that, um, but I think so far, <coughs> this box might be the best of the bunch. We've kind of been lacking hyperspace foils, um, but three legendary, two kind of major ones that are interesting. Gar Saxon and Foundling. This is a cool card. It's not actually a great card, but cool in uh, hyperspace. General Riken and then a foil Zuckus. General Riken. Um, he seems fine. So these are our four remaining packs. All right, maybe this is the one that has the showcase in it. Probably not. I should just say that every time. Okay, I think we got some good stuff back there. Stuff is peeking out here. General Giant, Street Gang Recruiter, Smuggler's Aid, Criminal Muscle. And our rare is, ooh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Okay, so we're up to four legendary. And then a, uh, this is the way. This is pretty darn cool. So now we have, um, that was a great pack. So Supreme Leader Snoke here. He's a good little board wipe, you can get him in. Um, so we've gotten two Snokes. So we're almost to a place out of Snoke. Um, Maybe screw building something Mandalorian and just do a Snoke thing. 
Um, Kira, not that interesting. A little hyperspace. It's cool. The, the lands hyperspace or bases is nice because you have the card in the back. Nice little tokens, if you will. All right. And our rare is Wrecker. And then a Twin City Pod Car. Um, this is probably the best rare. Um, so he's a nice 6-7-6 six, six Overwhelm. When played, you may basically fleet, defeat a friendly resource if you do deal 5 damage to a ground unit. So if you're nearing the end of the game and you need to do some cleanup, seems like a, a nice thing to do. Um, cost 6. So, okay. Bosk. All right, let's see here. No... <laughs> okay let's go baby all right finally so we have a hyperspace hyperspace crate dragon we have a Krogan gore and then we have an ig88 so um this is making up for it this is uh two crate dragons in a box this is uh okay i am a happy man now um this is why <laughs> this is akin to gambling because now i'm like i need to go buy more um it's unfortunate great dragon i don't think there's any deck that wants to run three of them because he's so damn expensive um but i might think about it price in your head i'm just in a good mood now that's uh pretty cool and our final rare is finalizer and then a clouds racer okay so there's definitely some co collation issues going on i'm not complaining here but um the fact that we got, so this is our legendaries, right? Crate Dragon, Supreme Leader Smoke, and then we got another finalizer, another Crate Dragon. So we end up with six um, legendaries here, and, you know, two of the same ones. I don't hate this. <laughs> I'm happy with the with the pulls here, but um, something is, is amiss, perhaps. Um, but let's quickly show off the hyperspace foils, which we only got three of, unfortunately, and then... Some decent rares. Uh, we got, you know, uh, Wrecker. Let's see what else. General uh, Boba Fett's armor is decent. Um, I need to look up some of these other guys, what they do. But, um, you know, okay. But I am very pleased this box might, keyword might, have paid for itself. We'll see. But that's all the time we have for today, guys. Come back for part four and see what playmat I will break out next. And I will catch you later.